kids, because they're egocentric, believe that it's their fault. And I was just mentioning that boy whose father punched him in the back seat of his car. He was horsing around. And this is how he ended up in foster care, because just as his dad punched him in the back seat, a squad car was driving by, pulled him over, and arrested him for child abuse. And this boy blamed himself. And what he kept saying was, had I not horsed around in the back seat, my dad wouldn't have punched me. He couldn't see that the choice that his dad chose in that moment was not about him. It was a reflection of his father and maybe what also could have happened to him and him not knowing. I think I need to pull the car over and have a conversation with my child before driving without him in a seatbelt. Um, that something's going on. He needs my attention right now. So really helping the child understand it's not your fault. And here's the thing, and this is hard for us when we have biases. We have to help kids see their parents who do abuse, who are neglectful, who do use drugs and alcohol. Help them understand what drove that behavior in their parents. Children love their parents. Okay? And most kids who are removed from their biological families due to abuse, neglect, or um, addiction uh, do want to re return home. So we can't blame and point a finger at the parent. We have to separate the parent from their behavior for the child too because children internalize their parents. And if we point that, oh, it's your dad's fault, oh, he's the bad guy, they're going to internalize. There's a part of me that's bad and I'm not good either, and I'm gonna end up like that too. So stigmatizing parents isn't helpful for kids. We have to help kids understand the best we can what drove a parent's behavior and what happened to them that this event or trauma occurred in their family um, so they can make sense of it um, and see their family and themselves differently.